I'm sitting here with Kendra Shadinsky, and she's the president of the Park Board here in Rochester. Kendra, could you tell me what the Park Board actually does for the city? Well, we are a group of four. We have four members on our board. Um, Steve Coleman, Bob Goodman, and Kimberly Landis, and myself. And we meet once a month, um, Mondays, at um, the City Hall, and we oversee um, all the areas of the park, which consists of the City Park, Fansler Park, JC Park, uh, the City Pool, the Golf Course, um, and the City Beach. So wow. we, um, we have a director of the City Pool, Lori Simpson, and we have golf pro, Lyle Lingenfelter, and then we have a superintendent of the park department, Lenny Conley, so he um, manages the day-to-day -day operations, mm -hmm. but he um, checks in with me weekly to let me know what you know what he's been doing. He lets me know um, how things are going. He gives me an update on um, repairs. There's a lot of repairs, a lot of maintenance that need to be done. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we have vandalism, things like mm -hmm. that. Um, so we just sort of oversee all of those areas. Um, Typically, we receive phone calls from community members, um, mm -hmm. maybe making suggestions of things that need done. We all um, are very involved. Our board is very involved in kind of driving through the parks, mm -hmm. stopping checking by the up. beach, checking on things to see if something needs repaired. And then I'll call Lenny and, and say, hey, Lenny, um, the drinking fountain at the beach isn't working, or um, Things like that. I mean, Lenny stays on top of it. He mm -hmm. manages um, two seasonal workers and a full-time worker. Um, he has, Wade Conley is full-time, and he okay. spends most of his time just mowing all of those areas. Of course, I, yeah, somebody has to do it. He, as soon as he finishes mowing, he starts again. So right. he's full-time mowing. And then we have um, Gavin Woodcox and Roger Bond, and they do a lot of those fix-it jobs. Um, and if they can't do it, then we hire someone, someone to come in to and do it, yeah. um, to do a plumbing or electrical. But they're pretty um, capable of doing most everything that right. needs done. Uh, just like today, for instance, I called Lenny and said, could you take a load of dirt out to the softball diamond? Um, they couldn't play softball last night because the um, bases were flooded and they mm -hmm. need some dirt. So. Um, Last week, I was working on the contracts for the pool director and the golf um, course uh, contract for Lyle. So mm -hmm. there's just a lot of things like that. Um, I applied for the new permit for the, the renewal for the beer permit last week for the golf course. There's just okay. a lot of behind the scenes work that needs done. And nobody really knows about, but yeah. you have to do it. And then there's also a lot of a lot of maintenance that I'm to, sure. to maintain the park. I'm sure. There's constant um, issue, minor issues um, that come to our attention, but we all pretty much um, do a good job of just looking around every week. We, we all take turns going around to the parks and seeing what needs done. And then in our monthly meetings, Lenny attends our meeting okay. every month, and we kind of go over a list of things that need done, or we um, discuss things that might need to be purchased. Um, we just purchased new mats for the under the swing sets okay, right. um, at Manitou Mountain and also um, at the uh, Fansler Park, just so they're safe. Right. They're rubber mats to go underneath the swings. Um, we're looking at maybe putting, replacing a bathroom at the city park. Um, we just recently had that older one torn down, right. so we're looking at replacing that. Um, it's just ongoing. There's just Always more something. than you can, you know, more than I was aware of before <laughs> I became a park board member. There's just a lot of behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of things that um, people don't realize. But we have a really good department. Everyone works together. Everyone um, cares, and um, they're very conscientious about their role right. on the board, and they want to do a good job. So everyone is comes every month with a list of, oh, I saw this that needs done, or I, you know. And a lot of times, our board members just do things that need repaired. Um, mm -hmm. They'll just pitch in and donate their time to fix something, or, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of time um, before and after our meetings. It's right. not just meetings. Um, Although we do have, it seems like, a lot of meetings, not just our monthly meetings, but we have budget meetings. And sometimes we'll meet at the park or the beach and just go over 
a list of things that need to be done. Uh, we just replaced the sign at the beach. Mm -hmm. We put in a new pier, a new swimming pier at the oh, beach. Cool. So there's a fishing pier and a swimming pier at the beach. All right. oh, and okay. so we have a new sign that explains that so that um, someone's not fishing off the swimming pier right. and we don't want people to dive, you know, we, it was just a lot involved in that too. We safety have, aspects of everything. Right. We wanted to make sure that, um, that safety is our main concern always. And, um, you know, we have the beach raked twice a month. We have someone that does that. So there's just a lot. It's constantly in need. We just had the floors painted at the bathrooms um, and had the drinking fountain right. repaired. It's just a lot of little things all the time that need... Little things that people don't even notice, but like somebody has to do them. Sure. And they need to be appreciated. Yes. And we also, um, we want to know if there's a concern so that we can take care of it. That's the only way that... Can. Yeah. Um, and we don't always want to wait until our next meeting to become aware of something. Of an that's, issue. If it's urgent, we would want someone to call us or call City Hall. Um, so that we can take care of it right away. What would you say is the most prominent thing that people call in about? Well, it varies. Um, this is my first year as president, mm -hmm. and so I have been fielding some calls about um, there was an issue at the pool um, involving, you know, just a, a, a minor issue, but, you know, they just need attention on a Sunday afternoon because mm -hmm. um, there was an issue about... Um, I think their fees and membership, that sort of thing. So that was something that I took care of. Um, there was a break-in at the city pool. Again, it was minor, um, but it happened on the weekend. And you know, it's we all are involved um, in those things, but it's just getting it, the information to the right person. So um, earlier in the summer, um, we were made aware that this, the uh, lights at the basketball court were not staying on long enough. Um, so as soon as I that was brought to my attention. We Took remedied that, you know, immediately. We just had to call an electrician um, to change the timer setting. So right. that was an easy fix. But um, and usually it is. Usually it's just a matter of making us aware of it, and we can take care of it right away. Well, it sounds like you do a lot behind the scenes, a lot, and a lot actually like not in the meetings. You just do a lot sure. outside of that little tiny room. And you're exactly. Constantly working. We we all do. It is. It's a lot more than than you might think, um, but it's it's very rewarding and I think that it's time well spent and um, we're all happy to do it. Um, it's 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 good to be involved. I I think that we should all do our part. Mm -hmm. And we, another thing that I um, receive a lot of calls about is people just call me and want to volunteer. Yeah, and I think nice. that's great. I just had a call yesterday. Um, a church wants to volunteer to do a, a service project with their youth group um, at the park and they want to paint something so we're going to have them paint a shelter and I think that's great and and she wasn't the lady who called from the youth group was concerned that she wouldn't have enough and I said we're just so grateful that you want to help us so right. we, you know we'll take whatever time um, and however many students you can provide um, earlier in the summer we had a group um, do some work at Fansler Park mm -hmm. um, and another church uh, totally repainted the bathrooms at Fansler Park because, oh, wow. and they just asked if they could do that. So we a lot of I mean it's a That's great. community effort. It's not just the board. A lot of people volunteer their time to make our park system well, that's great. beautiful. I mean I think we're very fortunate in our community that we have um, so many parks and 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 that they're so well maintained. But it takes a lot of work. Um, Another concern we have, we have vandalism, um, and that just kind of destroys all the hard work that everyone yeah. does. So that's another issue that's just ongoing. ongoing. Yeah, but I mean, I, that's probably typical in all communities, but... Yeah. Um, but you try to put a cap on it and try to suppress it as much as you can. And we have um, cameras installed in the city park. That was something that was done last year with the help of RTC. Um, so that was nice. So yeah, I mean, it's really just a group that works with Pretty the well community, enough. yeah, I think that we are doing good work, but it's um, it's the work of a lot of people. Right, and I know that you work with the parks program. How do you guys work with them? Well, we hire the director. Um, this year, our director was Donna Freisinger, and her assistant was Laura Manns, and they did an excellent job. Um, so we oversee that, but really, our our role is hiring the right person, right. and then kind of giving her a budget to work with and. Um, they take over from there. We kind of set guidelines. Um, they had a great program this year. Um, 
besides being at the park and doing crafts and mm -hmm. music and face painting and balloon, they had a person come and make balloon animals. Oh, cool. Um, they go to the library and they join the summer reading program. They go to the city pool, bowling, um, and then they had t-shirts made and they participated in the parade. Yeah, I saw that. So, yeah, so they've done that the last two years. They had a float in the parade. And so we're really happy that they come back because it's just the first two weeks, um, or excuse me, first three weeks of June. Mm -hmm. So um, they do a lot in a short amount of time. Yeah, it's a great way to keep the kids busy and keep them doing something that's it's progressive for them and good for them to do. It is, and it, this year was worked out so well that we might expand it next year um, for maybe four weeks because it was so successful. And um, Donna has already won its, has already committed to coming back next year, oh, and she great. she just did a wonderful job. And she's so enthused. So. I think if she has a whole year to plan, then we, maybe we could expand the program for four weeks next year. Right, so it definitely seems like, again, a lot of more behind the scenes work. Right, right. But but we, I really don't take any credit for the park, Parks program, only that we hired a good staff and then she, Took she and Laura did everything else and made all the arrangements and just, but again, she would check in, frequent phone calls, um, you know, asking me if, if it was okay to do um, this or that. but. You know, we don't have a lot of a lot of input in that. It's just that we kind of oversee it and provide um, what they need. Right, right. If you can make those arrangements, um, and we have a lot of behind the scenes help from Carolyn at the city. She, um, she's the assistant clerk treasurer, so we um, call her frequently to ask her questions about things. She's in charge of um, getting the new the uh, youth counselors that um, assist with the park program. Okay. She. She um, does all the paperwork and things like that. So there's just a lot of phone calls, a lot of... A lot of networking. Yes. A yes. lot of web. Lastly, Kendra, I just want to know, since you're the park board president, what makes your role different from the other board members? Well, um, usually if there's um, maybe a tough decision to make outside of a meeting, like handling of this um, parent who wasn't happy <laughs> with right. the pool, you know, that sort of thing like that, you know. That's my job to to resolve that issue um, because it needed immediate attention, mm -hmm. or um, talking to vendors or things like that that need to be dealt with immediately. Um, anything um, that requires a vote, we all do together at a board meeting. Um, anything where we spend money, um, we want to do that as a as a board. Mm -hmm. um, so mostly just doing a lot of the a lot of the detail work. Right. Um, that's the sort of thing that I'm doing. Um, that I'm learning and doing this year. Well, it sounds like you're doing a great job, and thank you so much for your time, and thank you for being such a great part of our community. Thank you. Thanks for having me.